Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a bird feeder camera. So a bird feeder camera, like its name, we mostly use it to watch our bird feeders. A bird feeder like this, if we set it in our backyard, we're going to have to know how we're going to, you know, properly watch it with a bird watching camera. So our bird feeder camera, you can say it's like designed to watch the bird feeder when birds come and eat or drink some water. We can get a very clear and close image to it. So this is our Green Backyard bird feeder camera. You can see it has an Ethernet port or, and an antenna. So this is kind of like a hybrid device. It goes both wireless and wired. Depends on our ways of installing and our needs. We can either use like Wi-Fi wireless or we can use PLE wired. So it just depends on what, how we want it. There's not, it's, there isn't a perfect one between these two. It's just the one that suits us the best. If you need a wire, we, you can just use an Ethernet cable to connect this to our main network. It will work. If you don't, we just mount it and the wireless signal can transmit back as well. So it's really convenient and easy to set up. And then we have this power adapter right here. We just can connect it to our power outlet, our alternating current outlet. And if we need longer power cables, we have this 10 meter extension cable as well in the package. After that, let's take a look at some of its features. Well, first you can see its lens. This lens provides this 1080p high definition resolution, gives us a very clear image of the birds, and also it has infrared around it. So even when it's dark around and we still want to like look what's happening at the bird feeder, we still get a clear image. And also, we can adjust the lenses after we take this lid off, which protects the bird feeder camera. Adjusting the lenses, say like sometimes some wind or some bird's activity moves either of these a different distance. This can adjust the focus length and we can get a clear image again. If we know, if we get like a camera with fixated focus lens, the image will easily become blurry and it's going to be hard for us to find the perfect focus again. And then there are microphones built inside. A microphone built inside, you know, we can have some auditorial experience when birds are tweeting. That would be very wonderful. Then it's the recording features. We can record it onto our storage devices and watch the images and the video footage back once again to live the precious moments. And it also has motion detection, so whenever we're not watching the camera currently, we can always open the alarm and whenever there's movement, we'll receive a notification on our like, application or on our phone. It's very convenient. So if you're like a first time buyer, I just recommend an easy setup with connecting to a power outlet and using the Wi-Fi transmission to receive the signal. And you can just easily watch it on one of our smartphones. I'll show you guys how to do it later. And there will be no more tricky things. If you're like a, a more pro user, you can use a lot of other recording devices. So now let's set up this bird box camera and let's see how it looks on our smartphone. Also, you guys can remember how to do this and when you guys buy it back, you can just simply watch our bird, box, bird feeder from our phone. So this is thorough or indicators on. Bird box camera is currently self-checking itself. And I'm gonna point it towards our bird feeder so we can get a clear image. So okay right now, you can see I have the application installed on my phone already. And I'm gonna open it and choose my camera. This one is online. And then you guys can see this is the live video stream. It's really clear, the image. And you can see that we can even go to full screen. And if you like what's happening currently, you can go screenshot it. Save the screenshot and you know, we can share it on a lot of social media, it's really convenient. Alright, well that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have more questions about how to set up this bird feeder camera, you can leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for your time, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.